Welcome to Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. So what is it about this theme park that separates it or makes it different from others around the country? Well, today I'm gonna to show you why Silver Dollar City should be on your list of theme parks to visit. Of course, the number one reason people go to theme parks is for the thrill rides, and Silver Dollar City is not lacking in those. What is your favorite ride here? Time Traveler. Time Traveler. Ready to go ride it? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Okay. So we're going to head down and check out the Time Traveler. Now, this is a coaster that uh, you probably won't see me on. My children absolutely love it. Uh, it is a coaster that not only goes upside down and spins, but it spins counterclockwise too along the track. So if you're in for craziness, as the way it's been described, then this might be fun for you. If you're like me, probably not. So a little trick, it's 8.30 at night, and if you want to ride some of these rides, this one is Outlaw Run, and it is almost a walk-on. Uh, this train here is a little fuller than the last one, but my son's on this one. Let's see if they're ready to go. He's one of those types that likes to sit in the back. So, yep, he's in the back on this one, not the yellow shirt, but the guy in the black. You know, the one that refuses to look at his dad filming. If you're not into roller coasters, there are many other rides available at Silver Dollar City for the entire family. And one of my favorite is the Flooded Mine. Oh, Ride on a boat through a prison mine scene while shooting at targets. See who can get the highest score. This ride is inside, air conditioned, and a great way to cool off on a hot day. If you're looking for the ultimate way to cool off, head over to Mystic River Falls. Here you can take a scenic ride on a not so lazy river before plummeting into a splash pool. If this water ride is too intense for some of the smaller ones in your group, you can go cool off in the Fireman's Landing. Here they have a splash area for the kids or even adult kids a couple of drop towers, and an indoor air conditioned area where the kids can pretend to be their favorite Chuggington character and push them around while you cool off and watch them have fun. I can't talk about Silver Dollar City rides without mentioning the most popular one. This is the Frisco Silver Dollar Line Steam Train. You take a leisurely 20 minute steam train ride through the Ozark countryside surrounding Silver Dollar City. Greet fellow guests as you pass by the train crossing near the Frisco Freight Barn. Enjoy a little show where train robbers briefly interrupt your ride and attempt to rob you looking for gold and silver. There are several other rides that I just don't have time to talk about. I don't want this video to be too long and about rides because I really want to show you what truly makes this park different from all the other theme parks. As you've probably noticed, this park has an Old West theme. Silver Dollar City is themed to the 1800s, and they try to maintain that theming throughout all the shops, their decor, and the workers. Stop in Nellie's Homestead for some fresh apple butter or homemade apple turnovers. They have a little bit of everything there, including jellies, jams, and baking goods. Another really neat thing that Silver Dollar City offers is their craft demonstration. It's like traveling back in time as you watch the blacksmiths visit the leather shop and watch the craftsmen make some leather products from belts, purses, and numerous other things. Go visit the woodworking shop where they still use equipment from the 1800s as well as an indoor uh, hand carving section where you can watch them hand carve things using the tools that they would have years ago. Uh, when you finish with that, 
You can even head over to the glass blowing area where they put on demonstrations and make some really intricate and beautiful looking art that you can even purchase. Matter of fact, you can go in any of the shops where these crafts are and purchase items that were manufactured right there in Silver Dollar City. There are many other shops around Silver Dollar City where you can pick up souvenirs or just about anything that uh, you need or don't need. And we can't talk about Silver Dollar City without talking about their food. And this theme park has some of the best food of all of the theme parks that I've been to. One of mine and my daughter's favorite dishes at Silver Dollar City is the skillet. It comes with potatoes and pepper and corn and you can get uh, sausage or chicken as your protein. It's very good and very filling. If you're looking for something a little more traditional, they do have hot dogs, hamburgers, and even a good pizza place. If you would like a traditional southern style meal at a sit down restaurant, then head over to Molly's Mill or Reunion Hall. They're located next to each other near the entrance of the park. But a little word of advice, this is a buffet style restaurant, so don't do like we did and go an hour before they close and expect quality food. If everything sounds good and you're not sure what to get, well, Silver Dollar City offers this summer tasting passport where you can get five summer treats from 18 different eateries throughout the park. There are two different bakeries within Silver Dollar City. One of them is located uh, not very far from the entrance of the park and the other one is down by Mystic River Falls area. The one located down by Mystic River is the one that has the famous cinnamon bread. If you need a nice cool treat on a hot day, there are some Dippin' Dots stands scattered around the park as well. With so many food options here, Silver Dollar City has something for everybody in the family. Another thing that really separates Silver Dollar City from other parks is their shows. They have so many, including their famous saloon show. This is a great indoor show that only lasts about 20-30 minutes and is fun for the entire family. Right now at Silver Dollar City, you can watch the amazing Walinda family. From hula hoop artists and juggling clowns that guy was pretty funny. They even had some acrobatic roller skaters. This show was a lot of fun. If you don't know who Nick Walinda is, well, you need to look him up. This guy holds many Guinness World Records for feats such as walking over volcanoes, walking the Grand Canyon, over Times Square, and many other places. If you would like a chance to see him perform in person and even get a chance to meet him after the show where they sign autographs. They have performed at Silver Dollar City several times before, so make sure that you keep an eye out for his next performance there and don't miss out. A couple other shows they had while we were there was a magic show and the stunt dog experience. This is a really cute show and the dogs, you can tell, have a lot of fun entertaining the audience and if you stay afterwards, you even get a chance to meet a few of them. If you've never been to Silver Dollar City, then you should definitely make this one of the theme parks you need to visit. From its theming, its food, rides, and shows, this place has a lot to offer. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Help us continue to grow our channel and get our content to even more people.